2013 marks the 15th anniversary of the greatest cycling race in the Southern Hemisphere, the Santos Tour Down Under. Nineteen ninety nine was the start of Australia's premier cycling extravaganza, and some of the sport's biggest stars joined the huge crowds to witness a fairy tale finish as South Australia's very own Stuart O'Grady secured the inaugural event. The Millennium Year welcomed the first overseas winner, Gilles Magnon, the Frenchman from Team AG2R. In two thousand and one, Stuart O'Grady was back delighting the fans and becoming the first ever two-time winner of the Santos Tour Down Under. Australia's dominance in the tour continued in 2002, when a fresh-faced 21-year-old Michael Rogers claimed his first ever major road cycling stage win. 2003 marked the fifth anniversary of the Santos Tour Down Under. Stuart O'Grady couldn't complete the three-peat as Mikel Astaloza became the second European to taste tour success. One of the legends of Australian cycling, Patrick Yonker, made the perfect retirement from professional cycling, winning the 2004 event in his last race. The Uni SA Australia rider set up victory from the first stage and kept the yellow jersey on his back for all six stages, becoming the second South Australian to win the tour. In 2005, Australian sprint star Robbie McEwen won yet another stage whilst Alberto Contador won the Jayco Stage 5 at Wollonga. The Spaniard still claims it was the most important win of his career after recovering from a coma. And in the same year, a star was born, Spain's Luis Leon Sanchez winning the Tour. 2006 saw some red-hot cycling. On the track... Well, Gareth thinks he's got it, but watch out because Sanchez is running right on top of him and he doesn't make it. And on the thermometer. It's hot. It's damn hot. Simon Gerrans backed up his first ever stage win with overall victory at the 2006 Santos Tour Down Under and wore the first ever Oka Leaders jersey. 2007 witnessed yet another stage win for Australia's Robbie McEwen. Swiss rider Martin Elmiger secured the overall honours for AG2R. 2008 was an historic moment in the Santos Tour Down Under as it became the first race outside of Europe to join the prestigious UCI Pro Tour. It also marked the arrival of a German sprint sensation that would soon be a name synonymous with victories at the Santos Tour Down Under. And it's Greetel who gets the stage win for Germany. The team high road rider secured victory in the Tour with his fourth stage win on the final day. The following year was not as successful for Andre Greipel. With a UCI Pro Tour title up for grabs, one Australian shone the brightest. Alan Davis is coming through on the outside and he's going to get this. Alan Davis signing his name in tour history. In 2010, the whole of Australia was seeing rainbows and the world champion put on a real show for the thousands of fans. Look at the crowd now as they spot the rainbow jersey. Is there going to be gold at the end of this rainbow? But with three sensational stage victories, Andre Greipel wrapped up his second Santos Tour Down Under title. The biggest crowd to date of well over 780,000 spectators attended the 2011 tour and there were plenty of big names and huge crashes. Oh, yeah, somebody's gone down in the middle. They've all gone over the top of him. Well, that was a mass massive crash, Paul, and I think that's Cavendish lying in the road. Australian riders dominated proceedings, winning all of the classifications, capped off by a fine tour victory for Cameron Meyer. He gets the victory for Gorman Cervello, and that's a Pro Tour win for him. 2012 marked the debut of Green Edge, Australia's first ever Pro Tour team. The race was set up as a battle of the Sprint Kings, but it was little-known Australian William Clark who stole the early limelight. He has been in the lead for 146 of the 148 kilometres, but he's there now and he's got the victory and an emotional crowd has cheered him on in. Simon Gerrans set up to a victory at Old Wollonga Hill, the race's first ever hilltop finish, to complete a dream debut for Green Edge, whilst also becoming the third rider to secure two Santos Tour Down Under wins. Who will ride to victory in the 2013 Santos Tour Down Under?